Assalamu alaikum. Ultrascan diagnostic. Sir, this is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is the lower right 7 and the lower left 6 and 7. On the panoramic view, we can see that the lower right 7 is cavious but not endodontically treated, and the lower left 6 and 7 are endodontically treated with periapical radiolucencies. Focusing on the lower left 6 and 7 first, so this is the transaxial view, which is basically the proximal view. Here you can clearly see that both the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual roots have been obturated. However, they just point and they're just approximately 1.8 millimeters short, but we do see a periapical radiolucency associated with these teeth. Um, when we move into radically, we can see that there is a periapical radiolucency in the furcation area. And if we can highlight this for our kind doctor, we do feel like there is a crack extending from the furcation area, um, from the furcation area of the tooth into the furcation area of the bone, which is why this uh, highlight here or this um, radiolucency here um, is present. Moving to the distal aspect of this tooth, the distal root contains one canal and that one canal has been obturated completely. Um, we do feel like there is a periapical radiolucency but not very significant. However, we do see that there is PDL thickening on the buccal aspect of this tooth which can be seen right here. When we move to the lower left 7, the lower left 7 however is uh, the mesial root of the lower left 7 um, has a missed canal which can be seen um, here. So this is the distal aspect where we can see um, a radiolucency or the PTL widening. When we move on to the 7, you can very clearly see that the lower uh, left 7 has quite significant um, bone loss associated with it. If we move the tooth, this is the distal root. Um, but on the mesial root, there is actually a missed canal um, and that's here we can see that missed canal right here. So this is the, the radiolucency is actually associated with this missed canal, the BGO buccal canal is missed, whereas there is also significant periodontal bone loss and root resorption is also present. The axial view, which is the top to bottom view here, you will be able to appreciate that this is the area of the furcation where we believe um, that there is a crack. You can also see it on the axial. This is where the radiolucency um, in the furcation area begins. Um, here is that missed canal in the lower right 7. Um, very, very clearly see this is a very clear missed canal. This is also associated with the, um, the infection in the bone. And as we are moving further inferiorly, we will be able to appreciate that this radiolucency is extending from the distal aspect of the 7 all the way to the distal aspect of the 6. So this is quite a big and connected um, radiolucency and bony lesion present in the tooth. This is the sagittal view. Sagittal view is known as the side to side view and we just wanted you to see that this is the radiolucency which is extending from the distal all the way to the distal of the 6. From the distal of the 7 to the distal of the 6 and the inter dental bone is also affected. So this is something to be kept in mind when treating these teeth. Thank you very much.